Hi guys, this is Zachary Zendis, aka Punk Pencils, and I'm going to be doing Sub-Zero today. So what we do is we start here like an egg, okay? And then we're going to have, this is the half of the face, and because it's a circle, we have to make sure that we keep all the lines intact, like it's bending to an egg. So that's one, that's where the eyes will be, two, that is where the nose will be, and three, that's where the mouth will be and the chin is down here okay now he's leaning forward and looking more menacing so we're gonna have his shoulders right here short and slightly under it and then we're gonna have this side over here it's his rib cage we're gonna start there go around like this we go up like this okay down the middle and this is where his abs will be but we don't really have to show those so we just do this, two lines like this, and hook up, just do like a, that's where his hip bone will be, so it's like the reverse of this. Think of it as like a weird U, weird U shape. Now this is where his arms will be, so we do this, and we have a teardrop, think of it as a teardrop. Now what we're doing is we're called drawing through, so we're actually layering on top of other things. So that's why you're seeing the behind the behind the ribs. You're seeing through the ribs, okay? So sorry if it looks a little sloppy, but that's a good way to keep track of where everything is in the body and then you clean it up later. So this is where the bicep goes right here. His arms are gonna be along the side. He's gonna be looking awesome. So we're thinking like a football right here, okay? Uh, there is a hint of a tricep over here, which is a small little triangle. And then over here, we're just gonna go down the elbow. The elbow begins like right around halfway, like right where the hips are, right? And then it goes like this. There's a shape that just comes around like this. I don't know what food product this will look like. Sorry. But it's just an awkward shape that goes like this. Again, sketchy, just feel it out, guys. Don't don't really rush into finishing it up right now. So we're going to start over here. We're going to see a different angle of the arm. So we're going to, again, we're going to look kind of like the teardrop thing right here. Okay. Teardrop. And then from here, we're going to go down like this. Another football. Again, we're not really going to see any of this. So, um, but we're just mapping it out. So the triangle, now you see a different thing, so it's like a triangle here, and then there's a line that goes down here. Technically, if you were to see more of the arm, it would go like this, but we're not going to worry about that. And then it goes down like this. Comes on this side, comes down like this, okay? Now the neck, there's the shoulder muscle. Well, not shoulder muscle, but the muscle that connects from here to here, to the base of the neck. And the neck comes forward like that. Now what I might want to do, this is why we sketch, I want to make it so the head comes back a little bit, because right now it looks like he's way too forward. So we're just going to thicken it up like this, and try to hook up, well not try, you hook up the uh, neck muscle right here, it goes down to the middle of the collarbone, and it comes back up. See what I did? So if you guys need to slow it down, um, you know, rewind it or something, go right ahead. And this is where the pectorals are. We're just mapping it out. And that's basically it. The eyes are here. And then over here. And then that's it. Now we're just going to go over it a little bit, try to smooth it out. This is just molding it, trust me, it will be worth it in the end. This is just making it so it all makes sense. Hang with me. If you guys are making it this far, awesome. This is where the abs are, like this. Now if we were doing like a Marvel superhero or something, we would obviously be digging more into the muscles, but we don't need to worry about that. So that's that, right there, okay? That's the basic body, that's what we're gonna build off of for Sub-Zero. Now, 
what we can do is a trick that I like to do. Uh, you flip over the paper, the canvas. Um, you saw me lighten it up. That's the equivalent of me taking my eraser and just lightening it, just erasing it to the point where you can barely see the lines, right? But what you want to do beforehand, let me just, what you want to do beforehand is just transform. <laughs> transform. You flip it over and see what's wrong, okay? So now I'm looking at the pose and I know something's off, all right? Sometimes something will look great from the first view, but then you need to flip it over so you know what's wrong, okay? So I knew that there was something wrong with the neck, so I'm gonna fix that up, okay? So we're gonna go in and just connect it, maybe broaden this out a little bit, like that. Now we're not, we're not making anything new, we're just pushing it out a little bit. Like that. Again, just pushing it out. Pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. Now let's see how this is. Alright, see? A little better. I'm going to kind of cheat right here. And erase. Now in all movies and comics, what they do is they just lean forward. It makes them look more menacing. Now the chest, let me flip it back. The chest, the chest muscle always goes above this shoulder muscle right here. It always goes above it. Okay, like it always overlaps it. So no matter what, that's what you have to look out for. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, so now I hope you guys are looking and liking what you're seeing too. So if you guys approve of what you're doing, then we just dig into his mask and his details. Now his mask is relatively big, all right? It's like bulky. It goes like this, just like a, like a more than less than sign, okay? We're just mapping it out for now. Same thing over here, okay? This is shorthand for his eyebrows. And his cheeks go out like this. See? And then his forehead goes around like that. But we're not gonna really worry about that. So his mask wraps around and goes to the bridge of his nose, like right here. Just goes above it around it and down and then wraps around his cheekbone over here don't be afraid to do what I'm doing just broad strokes and it connects to basically where the ears are the ears are back here so it connects to about here and then it goes down Quite a bit, actually. It goes down quite a bit. It goes like this, and it goes around. Notice how it's going below the jaw. The jaw's right there. Okay. Now, the line, there's a line that goes like this. It's like a second layer. It pushes out. So it's, it, it's projecting out in space, projecting more towards us. So we're going to see it come forward. And this comes forward as well. It has like a shape like this. Kind of like Aquaman. And then here connects. That's where the chin will be. And there's like a nice little design right here in the middle. This is basically the outline of his cheekbone and the mask. chin, the line goes like this, and up above. Now we can go in and mess around with his mask. If we can do that now or in a little bit, we probably need to get a little bit more details first on his body just to get it over with. 
and then we can worry about the finer details and everything else. So right now we're going to tackle his padding. It starts here, about the chin, and it goes down to, it's resting on top of the shoulder. So it's like wrapped around. It's, it's wrapped around the chest and it's wrapped around the shoulder. So let me erase it just a little bit so you guys can see that, okay? And it goes like this. And then it is just layers, it's just layers. And this is kind of like a horse seat right here. A little mini horse seat. So you got one, two, three layers. And then you got the neck, and then it goes like this. The padding is, I guess it's like protecting his neck right here. So there's a section right here that you kind of don't see, but we'll we'll put it over here. And it goes around and it goes to the quote unquote horse saddle. So then there is one. It protrudes a lot, it goes out. So one. And then so the saddle goes like this. And then it goes two and then three so one two three okay we got that and then we have some more padding so I'm just gonna zoom out here so you guys can see everything and how it's turning out so it's it's a learning process you're always learning so don't be sad if it doesn't come out the way you like it it's, it's Sometimes art just turns out the way that it turns out and you just have to fix it or go along with it and just improve on it. So there's a padding that goes over his shoulder like that. Same thing over here, rests on top of it. This is all projecting in space, so you gotta kind of keep tabs of that. And his, he has like two parts of that. A lot of layers to support uh, Sub-Zero. See? And he has some, he has uh, padding that goes like this. Again, this goes around his arm, so it has to fit, like lay over it. So, don't want to make him too bulky, but he is a martial artist with some muscle. So, you got the folds right here, and his gauntlet protrudes like that, goes like that, sticks out more. And they don't show too much of that, his gauntlet. Actually, there's a line right here. Looking at more details, I'm looking at multiple references. folds and you got the gauntlet right here all right so I'm feeling pretty good about that so far yeah looking through all the references so far it looks like it's pretty good yep so I'm looking at it more now and there is a there's an, another shape to it so there is three layers it's just a shape to it so this and he has like padding it's not so much like a scorpion with a big chest plate so it goes like this goes down to about here and it goes up very ninja-esque
Yeah, okay. And then, that's kind of what we're working with here. He has a belt, kind of a, a waist thing right down here. It's not exactly a belt, it's like a piece of armor. More padding. It goes like that. Now, he has the thick, um, thick layer over here. And it just goes, just wraps around like this. And then he has his eyes. It doesn't really show his his eyeballs, but that's just where to keep tabs. And then here he has a he has like a, a gill type thing. I don't, I don't know how. It, it looks like almost like fish gills. So what we're gonna do is I noticed there's like a V right here. It goes like this. So it's just two lines, not just one giant line, it's two lines. I'll separate it a little bit so you guys can see it. Just two lines. And then he has a distinctive line right down the middle. And I think he has something right here. Yeah. He has something right here. Okay, so that is basically it. Oh, this thing goes around even more. It kind of goes almost in the back. Actually, it goes in the back. And then he has his shirt back here. And all of this stuff is going to actually be uh, in dark. It's going to be black. So that's another thing that we need to keep in mind is that it won't all be shown. So now I'm going to go to the classic, hey, let's check this out, see what we're working with here. So I'm going to lighten this up because I like to have the basic layout. Um, I'm going to copy a layer here because I'm really paranoid when it comes to some things. Okay. And we're going to flip over, see what I have to fix. You guys go, hoo, hoo, hoo. All right. Yeah, now I'm seeing it. So right here, we're going to make this go up more because we're just matching everything. Now, I suggest that you guys go over what you need to fix up. If you gotta slow down, slow down. If you gotta rewind it, pause it, do it. All right. This is what I'm working with here. Normally, right now, I just, this is part of the lovely parts of digital. I'll just go like this, just dig in, fix it. You see me do this a lot when I do speed runs and stuff. I just turn it around and fix it. Like this is too straight. Here. This is why I like copying. See, this is just me sketching everything out. Real time, this is just me sketching. This is what I would do. See, this way, the arm has more motion. It's not all straight. It's something that everybody needs to think about. It's what you guys need to think about is the arm's not straight at all. The legs are more bent 
than you would possibly know. I mean, the legs look like they're almost disformed, but we're so used to looking at it that we don't even notice it. Alright. Two. Three. Alright, so that's just my notes. This is just for me, for when I ink and stuff. This is just so what I know I need to work on. And I'm sure your guy, you, yours looks really good. I'm very sure about that. So, there we go. Alright, so this is just for me to keep my, my, uh, my eye on. Um, from here, I'll show you quickly how you can do the fish things. Because they look like fish gills. So, when you draw fish gills, they go like this. Same thing with bricks, they just go like little U's, right? Not same thing with bricks, obviously, bricks are squares. You'll see what I mean. You could do this on Aquaman, you could do this on whoever has gills. Later on, you can represent it in shadow and light. That's just something that you can get later on with some practice. See, so it's gills like that, right? So it's a little fishy. Ooh, fishy, right? Hi, how you doing? And then there's the bricks be like this. This is just a side note guys. See? Halfway, halfway, it's just the gills. It's just like the gills. So just keep that in mind. Just a little quick note. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll do the gills like this. Again, short hands. This is going to be some serious detail with my inking. So the, that video might be coming out a little later. So all it is is just doing this all the way down. And then that's basically all you got to look out for. Also if you guys want to do this, you can fill in the blacks like this, okay? Now keep in mind that there is different light sources coming around. And even though it's black cloth, it is going to have some reflective light on it. You know, coming from this way, coming from that way. Fill it all in like that. Okay. Now all this is seem, might seem like boring stuff sometimes, or I'm sorry if it's not so. Here line, here line, here line. But this is also just to help you figure out how to uh, utilize different skills in different ways to make awesome pictures. Because this is also a tutorial on drawing. So there we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to touch up everything, and I'm just going to stop right here. So I'll show you guys what I do with the inks and everything else in the next video. I hope you guys like this. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I, I love Sub-Zero. I'm going to work on this, and I'm going to kick its butt. Um, I was going to say another word. I think I could say that stuff. I think I might have to bleep it out. But anyways... I will talk to you later. I'll see you later. Check out my future videos. Check out my Scorpion. I got the tutorial on him too. I got Dark Side. I got a bunch of other things coming up. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what character you want next. Can't wait to hear from it. I'll talk to you later.